Is a Disney Plus Wolverine anthology series really rumored to be in the works? Hey, the best geek news. Hello, hello, I'm Chris Killian, and according to that hashtag show, a Wolverine anthology series is in early development for Disney+. Plus. The show would reportedly follow Logan through various points in his long life, with the first season focusing on the mutant's time with Department K and his transformation into Weapon X. While this admittedly sounds like something I would love, you know what I think? Bullshit. Granted, the report claims the project is in the very early stages of development and no one has been cast yet, but I just don't see Wolverine debuting in a Disney Plus show. Even if it is the slightest bit true and there has been discussions, one thing I can promise you, Hugh Jackman is not returning as Wolverine. I heard you were in the moon and I was your Wolverine. Good news for you fans of the show Warrior, it is returning for a third season, but it won't be on Cinemax this time around like its first two seasons. Rather, season three and the rest of the show will be moved exclusively to HBO Max going forward. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Yesterday, I posed the question, where does the Fast and Furious franchise go after they go to space? In response to a crossover with the Jurassic World franchise, director Justin Lin didn't rule that out, claiming that part of their philosophy is to never be boxed in. Yes, look, I'm all about the more ridiculous the better at this point. Have Vin Diesel meet up with Riddick in space. The crazier the better. You producers can do anything you want. They didn't stop to think if they should. Maybe the Fast and Furious crew could cross over with the Ghostbusters. Stop that! Speaking of Ghostbusters, director Jason Reitman confirmed that an OG original Ghostbuster, Ernie Hudson himself, has seen Ghostbusters Afterlife, but uh, he didn't say whether or not Ernie liked it. There's something very important I forgot to tell you. In WWE news, on the exact same day they had their massive layoffs a year ago, WWE have now released eight wrestlers up to this point, including Mickey James, Samoa Joe, and Chelsea Green. Hey! The hell are their problems? Finally, Mads Mikkelsen has joined the cast of Indiana Jones 5, but no details have been revealed regarding who Mikkelsen might be playing. This is a crazy shot in the dark, and <laughs> I've got no idea why I'd even think something this outlandish, but any chance you think he's the bad guy? Not a chance, Buster. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. One more show tomorrow, but until then, find me on Twitter at Chris Killian or on Instagram at CK Comedy. And thanks as always for coming to comicbook.com for the best geek news. Hey, thanks for making it to the very end of the video. Make sure you click our subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss an episode of the show, which we post five days a week. That's 10. If you really want to show your support, give the video a thumbs up and then go check out some of our other nerdy videos. We've got plenty to keep you busy.